Products.com has released a new refill kit for many of the new Canon TS series printers. Now this is a new one out by Canon. It's the TS9520 and they have a TS9521C. Same basic printer except one is white. Now this is a large format printer. You can print up to 11 by 17. Turn it on. I'm going to show you how simple it is to fill the cartridges. In our new refill kit, you're going to get our Ultra Pro True Color ink, American made. You're going to get all the parts and pieces, refill or storage clips. And I'm going to show you what this little stick pin is, what you're going to use that for. It's going to remove the sealing ball out of the cartridge. Now we only recommend that you refill the starter cartridges or XL cartridges. Standard cartridges don't have the additional fill chamber. And I'll explain that later on. But you're going to get all the syringes, one for each color. You're going to get everything in the kit. Plus, you'll get instructions, but it's fairly simple to refill. Then we're going to show you how to uh, turn off the ink monitor when you get the red X, and it will allow you to print because it says the cartridge is empty. You're going to take it out and then fill that cartridge, and then you're going to turn off that particular color. It'll do that large 11 by 17. You'll be able to print on that. You have a need for it. it has a rear tray so you can even do card stocks and a lot of the other stuff this is your eight and a half by eleven but it's got another feature that I thought a lot of people might enjoy you can get a printable CD they come in white in different colors you put it in it'll go right in the printer no label prints right on the CD or the DVD so they have a lot of features in the new TS series. So you should look at Canon if you're going to buy a, a printer. Now right now there's no aftermarket cartridges. There's no aftermarket chips for, for the TS series. The 9120s and all the other ones. Now we've tested the chip, but it's not stable. We, we have tested a 250, I'm sorry, a 280. 281 chip but it's not stable so it's going to be some time before they have them now it has five cartridges in it two blacks and the standard colors cyan magenta and yellow let me take the cartridges out I'm going to point this out Right under that label is a ball, what we call a ceiling ball. So when they fill the cartridge, they put that in there. And that's what the stick pin is going to do. It's going to go in there and remove that. And then we give you a matching color plug to put in there. So you fill it up, put the plug in, you're done. Now what I'm going to do over here, this is a brand new machine, I'm going to run a lot of solid color of one color so it'll come out and it'll give you the exclamation mark then it'll give you the red X and shut you down then I'm going to show you by holding that stop button right there it's going to turn off that color so you can continually print with that same cartridge I'm running these uh, large 11 by 17 sheets I've got my exclamation mark you can see my yellow is very low now I'm gonna wait till it stops me I'm gonna keep printing now you can take it out now and fill it if you want it's not gonna hurt anything um, that's up to you but I'm gonna go all the way I'm just gonna keep running until I get that X and it says I can't print anymore then I'll go and fill it turn off that particular color in the ink monitor and then we'll see how it prints after that at any time you don't have to wait for a certain time 
it's actually better to keep ink in them than it is to let them run out of ink. You'll see banding. Then that's the time you really need to take it out and fill it. Now if you had two sets, like an XL set and this, you could swap them back and forth. So you don't have to stop and refill every time one color looks like it's not printing right. Okay, now I took out the yellow cartridge. Now when you're going to put it in the orange refill clip or storage clip, because you're using it for storage, you got to be careful. There's two little tips, one on each side. So two tips. So when you go, you're going to hook it in like that and push it to the back, just like that. Because you got to kind of get them in first, like that. And then you'll be able to slide it all the way to the back and click it down. That's it. Now that's going to seal it. It's a lot better than using the Canon clips. They're good for storage, but I wouldn't use them for refilling. Now it's going to be right under that little label right there. So then I take a little stick pin and I'm going to take the label away from that so you can see it. Now if you use an exacto knife you can be probably a do it cleaner. But there's the little ball. Now I'm going to use the stick pin. I'm going to go right into it. Then on an angle pick up. That's it. It's almost out. There it is. So there's the ball. So we won't need that again. Now, the plug won't quite fit in there. So, in the kit, I give you a little drill. And it's only going to be to, to widen that opening. And it's the perfect size for the plug. And then when you put the plug in, this faces forward the tail and you want to really get it down there. You can't leave it like that because it's going to hit because they have a part of the printer comes over lays right here and if it doesn't go down in all the way it's going to snag and pull it out. So just take your time. It's got to be airtight so you don't want to make it too loose just take your time. There, I'm getting better each time. Much, much better. One more time. I did get an X-Acto knife to clean this off. It kind of was in my way. Okay, now, go in there and clean it out again. Because I want that to lay flat, completely flat. There you go, I like that, see? See that? Nice and flat. Okay, now we can fill it up. You see, I always make up one of these little boxes so I can put all my syringe and I can write on them magenta, cyan, yellow, and black. You know, you can run on a thing. Now when you get the syringes, I want to point this out. It's going to say discard after use. Pay no attention to that. These are veterinarian syringes, and you're not working with blood, so you don't have to wash them out. Actually, I prefer if you don't wash them out, because our ink won't dry or cake to damage the sy syringe at all. But we don't want to get that wet, that plunger, because then it doesn't slide. And now the tips are three inches long, and they snug on. Not only are you refilling and saving some money, but you're not filling up the landfill. I mean, the, we have to throw these things away because of that stupid chip that they put on the bottom. And uh, Canon is one of the better ones. They at least allow you to refill. Epson and some of the HPs, they just stop you from refilling. In other words, you're going to buy their cartridge or you're not going to be able to print. So I do like Canon for that. Okay, now I filled up the syringe. 
five milliliters, and I slowly squirt it in. And I wait. Take your time, because it's got to be absorbed into the sponge. So if you rush too fast, you're only going to get three milliliters, and you're going to be doing it again. So just take a little extra time, squirt some in, sit back and wait. Remember, every time you're filling one of these, it's costing you about 50 to 60 cents. Well, otherwise, you'd be spending over $20. So, and I don't wear gloves. Some people want to wear latex gloves. That's fine. Now, the, the more time I take, the more ink I'll get in there. Now, soon... The ink will bubble right out the top here. Okay, now I just filled it up again, put another four milliliters. I'll see how many I can get in here. Last time I only could get five, but I didn't take my time. So. Oh, there you go. So on this one, it took approximately eight milliliters. Wipe it off. Make sure it goes, tail goes that way, and push with your thumb, hard as you can. Hard as you can. I'm really pushing hard, a lot, really hard, because I want to get that nice and flat. And you can feel it. It's, it feels really good. I probably put more ink in there now than, the, than it was from the factory. But these are the starter cartridges. These are really good. Front here, you're going to peel out, push down on that, and then it's going to release it. And then you'll be able to put it in. Have some uh, paper towel handy because you might want to blot the bottom here. There's going to be a little ink dripping. Oh, well, there's just a little ink there. Nothing to worry about. Okay, let me go over here. And we'll put it back in. Now I want to point this out. This edge right here comes down quite a bit. So if you don't have that plug in, it's going to hit it, and you're going to get an error code on your printer. So make sure that's down in there. That's the only important thing you got to do. Okay, let's close it. So it's processing. Okay. Okay. Let's go to Okay. Oh, let me get out of here. Hold on. Let me go back over here, back to home. Touched a little eye right there. Estimated ink levels. Now there's your red X. So now I'm going to start the print. Spilling it. Looking awesome. Let's see. This is 11 by 17. Still got the red X. I'm going to wait till it shuts me down. The print quite a bit. You know, after that, and these are 11 by 17. So now what you're going to do is you're going to hold the stop in. Keep your, keep holding it in for about. Oh, I'd say two or three seconds, then it's going to say processing, and then you can let go. Now, you're going to see that color, yellow now, is pure white. That means you can keep using that cartridge over and over again, and it won't shut you down. So now, what I'm going to do is take it out and fill it again, just to be on the safe side. Now I know where I'm at. I'm back to printing all my colors. 
Everything looks good. So go to inkproducts.com for refill kits that work. American-made ink, guaranteed never to clog your printhead.